Okay, so we've looked at multiplying two digit numbers by two digit numbers. We're now going to take that one step further and multiply three digits by two digits. The good news here is that the method stays the same, the way we work it out, the way we lay it out, everything stays the same. The only difference is that instead of stopping after the tens, we're going to keep multiplying until we get to the hundreds. Okay, so looking at the first question on your sheet, it's 161 times 23. So we think about the 20 and the 3. We'll start with the units. So we're going to multiply the 3 by the 1 initially, and then we'll multiply it by the tens, and then we'll multiply it by the hundreds. We'll keep going until we've run out of numbers. There's nothing in the thousands column, so we'll stop at the hundreds. So, looking at the first one, 3 times 1 is 3. Straightforward enough, there's no, nothing to carry over. 3 times 6 is 18. So I can put my 1 there and my 8 there. And then 3 times 4, sorry, 3 times 1 is 3. Add the extra 1 is 4. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 6 is 18. And 3 times 1 is 3. Add the extra 1 is 4. Now for the next part, I need to multiply by 20. Not 2, but 20. And because it's 20, we need to put that magic 0 in at the end there. So we're going to do the same process 2 times the 1 and 2 times the 6 and 2 times the 1 again. Okay, so 2 ones are 2 and then we'll do 2 times 6 is 12. Now I can't put the 12 in this column so I have to put the 1 there and the 2 there and finally 2 times 1 is 2 add the extra 1 is 3. So I've got 3220. What I do next is add those numbers up to get my final answer. So 3 add 0 is 3, 8 add 2 is 10, so I'll put the 1 there and the 0 there. 4 add 2 is 6, add the extra 1 is 7, and nothing add the 3 is 3. I've got 3,703. That's how I'll work it out. I could now check that using a calculator. What I'll do next then is move on to the next question. Now, as you can see here, I've already put that zero in because I know I'm going to need to put that zero in. So I can do that for every single question before I even try to work anything out. I can make sure that that zero is in place right from the beginning. Okay, so you can pause this video as we go along. I'd like you to try and work out what we're going to do first and what the answer is going to be. So think about the units first, try and work out what that first line is going to be. You can pause the video now and then we'll go through it. Okay, so hopefully you've said we're going to multiply the 6 by the 2, then we'll multiply the 6 by the 3, and then the 6 by the 2 again. So let's work that out together. 6 times 2 is 12. So we carry the 1, put the 2 in there. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3. 6 times 3 is 18, but we've got an extra 1. So we'll cross that 1 out to make it 19. Put that 1 there and the 9 there. 6 times 3 is 18. Add the 1, 19. Finally, 6 times 2 is 12, add the extra 1 is 13, so our answer will be 13. There's nothing else to add on or multiply, so we can put the 1 in the thousands column. Okay, have a pause of the video again and tell me what we're going to do next. Okay, so we're looking at the tens next. So we're going to multiply 2, or 20, by 2. We know it's 20, but we put the 0 in already, so we don't have to think about that for a little while. We can say 2 times 2 is 4. We'll do 2 times 3 is 6. And 2 times 2 is 4 again. Nothing to carry over on that one. So let's have a look at the answers. Have a pause of the video, tell me what the answer is. 
Okay, let's have a look at how we work it out. We'll do 2 add 0, which is 2. 9 add 4, which is 13. So we'll carry the 1, put the 3 there. We'll do 3 add 6 is 9. Add the extra 1 is 10. And 1 add 4 is 5. Add the extra 1 is 6. So our answer is 6,032. Now, if we were multiplying numbers by thousands, we still carry on with the same process. So having a look at this question, it's a four digit number by a two digit number, but remember the method never changes. So we're just gonna multiply the nine in this case by every number on that top row. And once we've got to the two and finished, that's when we'll move on to the tens. So you can see I've put my magic zero in already because I know I'm gonna need that when I get to multiplying the tens. So let's start with the units. Nine times zero is zero. Everything times zero is zero. Nine times nine, nine squared is 81. So we'll put the eight in this column and the one here. We'll now do nine times nine, sorry, nine times one, which is nine. Adding the extra eight makes it 17. And then finally, 9 times 2, 9 twos are 18, add the extra 1 is 19. 19,710. We'll now move on to the tens. Remember, it's not 6, it's 60, which is why we've put our 0 here. So, starting off, 6 times 0 is 0. Don't make the mistake of thinking, oh, there's the 0. It's 60 times 0, but we still need to put our zero in here. So six times zero is zero. Six times nine is 54. So I'll put my five here and my four there. Moving on to six times one, six ones are six. Add five is 11. Carrying over the tens. And finally, six times two is 12. Add the extra one is 13. I've got 131,400. What I'll do now is add them up to make sure everything is right. Zero at zero is zero. Zero add one is one. Seven add four is 11. So I'll carry the one, put one there. Nine add one is 10. Add the extra one makes it 11 again. One add three is four. Add the extra one is five. And nothing add the one is one, so my final answer is 151,110. Let's have a look at the next question then, another four by two digit number question. So I'm gonna pause, you can pause the video here and tell me how you work it out. I've laid it out already, I've popped that zero in for when I'm multiplying the tens. Try and work this one out Pause the video, try and work it out, and we'll see how we get on. Okay, so we'll start with the units again. So we're going to do 2 times 2, then 2 times 4, 2 times 3, and 2 times 1. So starting off with 2 times 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 fours are 8, 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times 1 is 2. Multiplied all of the units there. Now we'll move on to the tens. We've put our zero in already, so 5 times 2 is 10. Carry the 1, and the zero goes there. 5 times 4 is 20, add the extra 1 is 21. 5 times 3 is 15. Add the extra 2, makes it 17. And 5 times 1 is 5. Add the extra 1 is 6. Now we can add those numbers together. 4 add 0 is 4. 8 add 0 is 8. 6 add 1 is 7. 2 add 7 is 9 and nothing add 6 is 6, so our answer 
is 69,784. Have a go at all the questions on your sheet. Today we're going to be looking at three by two digit numbers. Tomorrow we'll be looking at four by two digit numbers. So check back at this video if you need a reminder on how to lay it out and have a go at those questions.